Hey, what's up guys? My name is Fox and welcome to another video. In this video, I want to discuss one of the most common topics that I talk about on my stream nearly every day, which is one of my favorite engravings, the grudge engraving. The reason why this engraving comes up so often is due to the fact that it's seen as quite controversial in the West so far. Lots of people do not run it due to several reasons and we're gonna go over those reasons. But on top of that, there's a part of the community that simply believes Grudge is a bad engraving or not worth running. The later one can be debated. But now let's talk about Grudge. First, let's quickly talk about how to use Grudge. Now you say, obviously that's very easy, but there's a big mistake that I see in early tiers especially, which is that people run Grudge at level one or level two. I know that a lot of content creators like me talk about Grudge and how good it is, but Grudge also has a downside, which means you take 20% more damage. At level one, you only do 4% more damage, but take 20% more damage, which definitely is not worth it. At level two, you also gain only 10% more damage. I wouldn't suggest running it at either level one or level two, because the biggest damage increase comes at level three, which is 10% more than level two, coming out at 20%. At that stage, Grudge definitely is worth running. But this now will bring me to my next point. Why exactly should you even run Grudge? In order to understand why Grudge is such a good engraving, we need to look at the other engravings first. To make it more clear, we can split engravings into two different categories, conditional engravings and non-conditional engravings. So what is a conditional engraving? It simply means certain conditions need to be met in order for your damage to increase. An example would be Barricade. In order to get 16% damage from Barricade, you will need to be shielded. Another conditional engraving is Hitmaster. Hitmaster only increases the damage of attacks that have no positional and it doesn't boost your awakening skill. This means only certain abilities under certain conditions are being boosted and get 16% more damage. By now you probably understand what conditional engravings are. The good part about some of these is that their damage is really big. Take Supercharge as an example, which increases the damage of charged skills by 20%, which is 20% with no downside. The conditional engravings are usually class specific, but can net you really big damage gains, some even more than 20% from Grudge. Which brings me to the other category of engravings, the unconditional ones. And yes, as you probably already know, Grudge is part of those, and so is Cursed Stall. Both of these engravings are going to be active at any point when they're equipped. Every single ability will be buffed by the damage of those two engravings. Yes, there are downsides to those two engravings, which is taking more damage and less healing, which makes the game harder for you, but they provide their buffs at all times. Now that you understand why Grudge is actually so good, of course there's more to talk about because Grudge is multiplicative while other engravings are just additive, but that's a bit more in depth. Let's now talk about when to use Grudge. This is probably the biggest discussion around the whole topic. While some people deny the extreme power that Grudge holds, others are arguing about a learning curve to Lost Stark. And this is very understandable. So the question is, when should you run Grudge? Currently, we can obtain up to four engravings when min-maxing, yet let's put this in a normal situation for the average player who has probably around three engravings. Should Grudge be in those? It can, but it doesn't have to. Current content really doesn't require you to have huge amounts of damage. Yes, Grudge already is really good, but don't forget that engravings like Ambush Master or Supercharge can give you even more damage if you utilize them properly. Not running Grudge right now definitely isn't the end of the world, but will probably be better than other engravings that only give up to 16% like Barricade or Hitmaster. Yet, you will be required to run Grudge later down the road once we reach 4 engravings or more. The argument right now that I get a lot to not run Grudge is that people are learning the game. Well, this makes a lot of sense, of course, wouldn't you learn faster by getting hit harder? A lot of people come from other MMOs like World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV, where uptime is always guaranteed and your aim is to optimize your rotation. And that's about it. Lost Ark, on the other hand, is very different. You cannot just expect to face tank every single ability and survive, unless you play Giga Chat Gunlands, of course. And I believe that is what is causing the whole frustration around Grudge right now. 
people need to understand, Lost Ark's combat is turn-based like in fighting games. Guardians or bosses have their turns where you need to respect the mechanics that they are executing, which is then followed with your turn where you can do damage, rinse and repeat. It is very unrealistic to expect a 100% uptime on the target in Lost Ark, especially once we reach harder content down the road. The point I'm trying to make is that Gwatch will make you respect these turns more and faster, while running other engravings that do not have any downside might just let you get away with face tanking and healing. But that's not the right way to approach the combat of Lost Ark. On the other hand, obviously, I understand that everyone learns in their own way and some people want to be able to survive longer while learning raids. So, in my opinion, there is no wrong way of going on about running grudge right now. Just keep in mind that you will eventually have to resort to running it simply because you are running out of other options to increase your damage. And at that stage, people that have been playing with grudge from the get-go will already know what kind of damage they're going to take from certain abilities and how to respect the content properly. No matter what way you're going to approach this whole topic, you cannot deny that Grudge is a great engraving. It is the best engraving because it is unconditional and offers you 20% at all time for every ability. Yet I can also understand why right now certain people do not enjoy running Grudge due to the fact that it makes you take more damage. Yet Grudge and Cursed Doll will always be two engravings that you can advise to anyone playing any class besides supports obviously. So my final advice to you is that you should decide for yourself what you want to run. I also understand that Grudge currently might be more expensive than other engravings and if you cannot afford to run it that is also fine. You don't need to run it as I explained earlier. You decide for yourself if you think Grudge is something that you want to run and if it helps you to understand Lost Star's combat faster than maybe a different engraving. What I want you to understand is that Lost Star's combat is simply not like World of Warcraft's or Final Fantasy XIV's and that is very important. Like I said earlier, turn-based, respect mechanics, and try to optimize your damage during your own turns. And with that, we're at the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something today and I hope I could bring the engraving grudge a bit closer to you or maybe make you understand why it is such a popular engraving. I don't want you to necessarily run it immediately. I don't want you to go out there and buy it immediately and then put it on your gear because maybe you are just the kind of person that cannot deal with running grudge right now because you are focused on learning your class or learning the mechanics in a certain way. All I want you again to understand is that grudge will be mandatory at some point down the road for you no matter what, which means you're going to take more damage down the road in bigger raids, in the Legion raids like Valton, Vikas and Kukul Satan anyway. So running it right now already will help you to prepare for that later down the road. On that note, I'm wishing you all a great rest of your day wherever you live.